Hi, this is my Renaissance grandma. I am going to attempt to put out some onion and garlic. I'm just going to put them around the border. Okay, I'm going to put onion, garlic, onion, garlic, garlic, onion, garlic, onion, garlic, onion, Onion, garlic, onion, garlic, onion. Okay, have them just around the borders. Okay, I'm also going to add some basil in there at some point. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here for now to serve as a table. Okay. This is the bell pepper from my hydroponic. Oh, wow. This is too tall. Well, this definitely is gonna to have to stay outside because it looks like I'm are going on the end door. Okay, this is going to be my lemon seed. So I'll probably put, what, five in there. Then after they start growing. And like I said, I do realize these are not going to become a lemon tree, but I will be able to use it for lemonade and for my tea. I just use the leaves. Okay, that's three, four. And I know some people take that outer skin out before they do it off. But I'm not getting ready to try to cut my finger trying to remove that off the outside. So I'm going to take these up and take them in the house. I'm going to leave them out here for now because it feels wonderful. But we're 
we are expecting tornadoes and storms and all the ugliness tomorrow so i am going to take them in tomorrow okay and this one i have another ginger Okay, so we have ginger, lemon, and a hot pepper. And we have, um, I have, okay, so let me bring you over here. Okay, so. I do not like radish, radishes, but as I was watching um, ugh, Broke Farmer the other day, and he was saying he does not like radish, but someone in the chat said they had great benefits. So of course, you know, I ran to the research button and started researching and they absolutely do have a bunch of benefits so I'm just going to drop some I don't know how big these are going to get so I'm just going to put so there's one two Now the other radish, you have to um, drop them when it's warm outside. But this one says that they should be dropped in cool dirt. So, there's my five. And I will drop more because I will use these in my, like my ginger shots. Yes, they absolutely have tons of benefits especially cancer fighting benefits and who doesn't want that so these are the Pusa Jamani I guess that's how you say that so anyway I think that's all for now I am getting ready to uh, go around and put some more garlic and onions in some of these other pots so you all have a blessed evening. Bye-bye. Hi, this is my Renaissance grandma. This is April the 13th. Nope, it's the 14th. Okay, I am dropping Paul Robeson for the Growing with Hudson Challenge. It's just a challenge where she she just wants us to grow so we can all compare our results since we are all in different grow zones. So I dropped three seeds in there. Okay, so now I'm going to drop I know it's hard for you all to see in this sun. So now I'm going to drop some Chef's Choice tomatoes as well. Okay, I'm gonna put two seeds in there. If they come out, oh my God, half of them came out. Let me put all of these back in here. Okay, I'm going to drop two in the middle. 
Okay. I know zone six, we're not supposed to sow seeds until after Mother's Day. But I look at it this way. The weather has changed. Nothing is doing the way it's supposed to do. So I'm taking a chance, okay? So now I'm getting ready to um, drop some cucumbers. I'm going to put two in there. Well, that's if I stop dropping them. I'm gonna have cucumbers coming up through the floor. Okay, I'll push them in later. The stand is in the way, so I really can't get over there in that corner right now and push them down. Okay, so I started off with just doing onions and uh, garlic because I know we're not supposed to be dropping seeds. But the weather is continuously being great. So I came out here, so I said, okay, well, let me drop some brassicas. So I dropped some brassicas, and then the next day, so it's just every day I've dropped something different. Okay, so let me show you what I have. Okay, so right next to the brassicas, let me see if you can see. Let me tilt it a little bit. Okay. No, right next to the cucumber, then we have mullen in this big bucket. Next to the mullen, this right here is moringa. Okay, next to the moringa, we have cabbage. I've never tried cabbage before. I don't know how that's going to work, but a failure is nothing but a try. Okay, and this bucket right here, there is some salsa peppers. Okay, so back up here where the tomatoes were, this is sage, thyme, spearmint, and lemon balm. In the back are bush beans. And over there is cantaloupe. Okay, let me come up some. Oh, right, right, this one back here. Let me get that one first. That is California Wonder Sun Pepper. Okay, so up here in this green one, is the Chihimisai, okay? So over here, and this one is Swiss chard, okay? So back down in the orange bucket is, let me see, it is white icicle radish. And then the bag in the white bucket is, oh, arugula. Okay, so the big bucket is tatsoi green, I mean onions and garlic. And they are starting to come up. Let me see if I can get a little close. No, that's not helping. Oh yeah, you see that little green there, you see green there, you see green there. So the tatsoids are starting to come up. Okay, now let me turn, you know it's tight out here, so forgive me. So let me turn this corner. Okay, so back in that corner is okra. And then in the orange bucket next to it is so, oh no, 
So because I could not grow all the herbs I wanted to, I had to companion so just so I can get more herbs in. Let me see what this is. That's kale. So I companion sold cilantro with it. Okay. So this is my fig that I'm hoping comes back. Okay, in the back in the blue bucket is calendula. Okay, this orange bucket here is black seed. The white bucket here is what they say, spinach, stinging nettle, and what they say. This orange one is, oh, chocolate. I guess that's that chocolate pepper thing. Okay, and that is my valerian root that's supposed to come back by itself. If, it, if not, then I will drop some more. Okay, up here in this blue are the Pusa Jamuni radishes. Okay, and that's my lemon ginger, more ginger. This is the breakfast uh, radish. Okay. Is that everything? Oh, nope. Behind me. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this big bucket here, I don't have any room <laughs> to back up. Let me see if I can. Okay. So in here, I have collards, mustard, and bok choy. And around the perimeters, I have uh, onions and garlic. And in the corners, okay, this corner I have basil. But in that corner, I have catnip. In this corner over here, I have catnip. And in some of these other ones, I have catnip and basil is in a lot of these pots as well. I'm going to be surprised because I threw different things, like I might have thrown some extra chives around the borders of these. So I don't know, I don't remember everything I did. I did this a couple days ago. And then this one more down here. Um. Let me see what this is. Lettuce. Okay. So I think that is it. As you can see, let me go around one more time. I have covered every square inch of the border. I do have walking room. That's a blessing. So, okay. Okay, so as you see, everything is covered. And I actually was going to put a tomato back there in that blue bucket. And I decided not to because it's going to be a challenge trying to get back there to get those suckers off. So that's why I decided to put the two tomatoes up on the table. Uh, of the things that I did different this year is, um, well, as you see, I, um, I decided I did not want to thin anything out. So everything has two seeds in it. And if they do not succeed, I do not mind having to drop them again because as I was searching for something, for my hydroponics, I found a whole bag of seeds that had been open. I already had a whole bag that was open. Then I had a herb drawer in my crisper in the refrigerator that I keep all my product stuff in. And then I found another bag of seeds. So I have about 50 plus half bags of seeds that have been open. 
So if these do not succeed, the thing about it, the great thing about it is I do not have to open up any new packages. I can just use what, and I know they go back probably like five years when I first got my hydroponics because they're inside a hydroponics seed bag. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. Have a blessed grow season. I'll pray for you. You pray for me, and we'll watch God change things. God bless everybody. That's my renaissance, grandma. That's my renaissance, grandma. That's my renaissance, grandma. Hey, yeah. She be flipping that dirt. Stay designing them shirts. She be knee deep in that soil. Marinating them oils. Making it, baking it, creating it. Yeah, making it, baking it, creating it. That's my renaissance, grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah.